Welcome to the Experience Miracles Podcast, where we help parents find hope, answers, and drug-free help to overcome your child's chronic health challenges. I'm your host, Dr. Tony Ebel, and I'll be sharing my experiences as both a dad and a doctor on every episode. I can take the latest science and neurology of healing and break it down in the most simple and relatable way possible. We'll take on the toughest topics and answer your biggest questions through interviews with other amazing parents and leading experts, leaving you with practical action steps that you can take to help your child heal and thrive. It's time to expect and experience miracles. Let's get started. All right, moms and dads, welcome to the Experience Miracles podcast. This one right here might go down as the most foundational and important episode out of the hundreds and thousands and who knows how many episodes we plan to bring to you. Families all over the world delivering hope, answers, and drug-free help. Well, this one is the answers episode. This is really where we're going to break down what we call the perfect storm. Now, I'm going to give you the whole case study, the whole case history on the perfect storm, where that phrase, where that analogy and that concept came from, what exactly it is, what are each of the elements of the perfect storm in a very specific sequence and order that our kids go through way early in life. That is the exact reason or reasons when you see kind of the plurality of this and how they all add up early and often in our kid's life. That's causing so much chronic illness, so much stress, anxiety, autism, ADHD, asthma, allergies. Fill in the blank and keep on going. We're going to give you the exact answers and the exact story mixed and infused entirely with neurology and science as to the answer to this big question. Why are our kids so sick? Why are so many of our kids so sick? Why is it hitting so early, so often, and so many families and so many communities? Well, that's exactly what the perfect storm answers. So buckle up for this episode. We're going to get storytelling. We're going to get sciency and neurology, as we will probably with every single episode. But most importantly, we're going to get you exactly what you've been up late at night, searching, scrolling, praying, and wondering for. What's causing this? What's behind this? Why is my child sick and struggling? So real quick, to get you to the answer to that question, I got to do a little bit of my own backstory to you, okay? I promise you this. I'm not going to spend the whole episode telling the story of Tony, the pediatric chiropractor, you know, the farm kid from Iowa turned neurologically focused, nerdy as can be pediatric chiropractor. But you're going to see that my journey to finding pediatric chiropractic and then the perfect storm is the exact journey I took to find this science, to find these answers to the root causes of what's causing everything from autism to ADHD to asthma and allergies. And so getting a good understanding of the journey I took to find these answers, I promise you is going to help your journey to do the exact same thing. Find the answers and then get right into action to get your kid healthy, recovering, and doing meeting their full potential once again. So telling it as short as I can, if you ever hear me say long story short on a podcast episode, buckle up and uh, maybe hit it into one and a half speed because I'm a farm kid from Iowa and my beautiful, amazing mom, Rhonda, anytime she says long story short, that is not true. It's going to be a long story with lots of details about lots of uncles and lots of neighbors and lots of people you don't really remember, but you smile on your head and nod your head and say you do. So with that introduction, here we go. So when I first started becoming interested in becoming a pediatric chiropractor, it was actually towards the very end of my chiropractic school journey. You go to school for almost eight years, seven and a half years to be exact, to become a doctor of chiropractic. We were on one of three licensed physicians. So dentists and medical doctors are on the same level we are in terms of how much training and education. You know, some people are like, oh, they're a real doctor. Well, you can ask my student loan debt and it would add up to the answer unequivocally. Yes, we're a different kind of doctor, which is another episode coming up where we'll talk about the three different options you have for your family. You have traditional, you know, blame genetics, take drugs, chase symptoms. So that's the medical pathway. You've got the natural and holistic pathway, which is gut health and supplements and diet changes and detoxes, which I bet a lot of you have already done, are doing, and found your way to this podcast. And then you've got the third option, which we will be talking about every single episode of the Experience Miracles podcast, which is the neurologically focused neurological chiropractor part and option in healthcare. So I found that late, literally, right before I graduated, two weeks to the nose, to the T, before I graduated, 
our first daughter was born. So Christina and I, my wife and I, got married after one year of chiropractic school, got married very young. Um, and I am a raging bull, fight or flight dude all together. So I could not believe she even liked me at all. So after five months of dating her, I already had the ring actually bought after two months and then asked her after five months. And we got married early and we started our family early. I thought maybe we should wait until after chiropractic school, but you know, not like starting a practice was going to be any less busy. So this beautiful brown-eyed, brown hair, baby girl, Addison, shows up literally and transforms our world two weeks before I graduated. Now, what does that have to do with your family story, your kids in the perfect storm? The entire seven years prior to that, I had dedicated every single day, thousands upon thousands of hours, learning how to be a standard chiropractor, typical chiropractor, um, musculoskeletal focused, back pain, neck pain, sports injuries. That's how I had found chiropractic. I didn't know, I, I, even when I was getting adjusted myself and my challenges with 20 years of never being able to sleep, never being able to slow down, focus and pay attention in school. I didn't know that those all went away at the same time as my shoulder pain and neck pain, which I had chronically dealt with through many years of being a, you know, classic small town youth athlete. So I found chiropractic through a traditional musculoskeletal sports injury chiropractic pathway. And it helped me get better, you know, not have to take tons of a leave and medications and surgeries anymore. And it helped me learn about the wellness lifestyle. So I thought that was a darn good plan to do with our practice, premier wellness chiropractic forever forward. So we were going to see everybody. Now I was certainly going to be open to seeing kids, but I thought maybe it would be like me, high school athletes and that sort of stuff. I had no idea we would be taking care of birth trauma in Infants and epilepsy and autism and cerebral palsy and kids from all over the world would fly in for pandas and, you know, all the different things. This plan that we're on now was not the plan until Addison showed up. So, you know, as hard of left turn as possible occurred in my life where in a literal moment, like you probably experienced this with your kiddos, you know, when your baby arrives, Things that mattered before ceased to exist, like literally went to zero, and new things go to 100. That was me with pediatric and prenatal chiropractic. After I saw my beautiful, courageous, strong wife be able to rock this pregnancy, a natural labor and delivery, and have this beautiful, healthy baby. So the opposite of the perfect storm, you're about to learn all about the perfect storm and how it sets up all of these negative, not good health outcomes for our kids. Well, Addison's birth, Addison's pregnancy, Addison's beginning was the opposite of the bad. It was as good, as ideal, and, you know, as perfect in, in you know, antithesis and contrast to the perfect storm. It was as perfect as you could get. And that goodness, that awesomeness inspired me to shift the entire journey of my practice and my future profession and career into pediatric and prenatal. So what that inspired me to do and motivated me to do was to go learn how to do it. Because in chiropractic school, you get a couple of classes on pediatrics. I suppose we graduate just like a general practitioner. And then you got to pick your specialty, right? And so I picked way late. Like after I graduated, the day after I graduated, I began my postdoctorate certification in pediatric chiropractic. And thankfully, God, as he always has, was shepherding and, and guiding me right to where I needed to be through not just classes or certain initials I could go out and get or books and nerdy stuff I could gather up in my life. But he's always put incredible mentors and guides in my life. In fact, I hope that my role forever forward in this podcast, our YouTube, the articles we write, the website, pxdocs.com, where if you love this stuff, you go there because that's where the articles and the videos and more episodes are. I hope that my job is to be your guide to guide you to have your hope restored, to have the answers you've been seeking finally, literally, clearly, simply put, answered, and then most importantly, to drive you to take the action steps to find that neurologically focused pediatric chiropractor that can absolutely change your child's life. Then you'll learn all about how that works here on the Experience Miracles podcast and on our website and so forth. So I found in that moment of need, an amazing mentor by the name of Dr. Mike Cody. Now, Dr. Cody was truly a pioneer in pediatric chiropractic, one of the first ever certified pediatric chiropractors. And he happened to be, again, God all over this thing, he happened to be practicing 10 miles from where I was going to set up shop, where my wife is from, Crystal Lake, Illinois, and where we practice today and always will. And he actually had connections through his wife, through my wife's family's business. 
So I show up day one of my internship working for Dr. Cody, not knowing a single flipping thing about pediatric chiropractic, but wanting to know everything. And if you learn one thing ever about me, I am an incessant, relentless, obsessive learner. I can't wait to learn more so I can share more and impact more kids and families with that information turned into action. So the first thing I asked Dr. Cody is because during this time, I'm getting on the Google, right? And I'm doing my own research and I'm seeing what um, would now be known many years later as obvious, but was not at all 15, 16 years ago where this story starts. I saw autism was on the rise. I saw that kids were getting sicker and sicker. You didn't have to just Google it and find the research. You could just go out into the community and you could see those babies are struggling and crying and colicky more than ever. That kid has got the bags under the eyes and is sick and pale and doesn't look healthy more so than ever. I saw it with my cousins. I saw it with friends and family. And you just see it in the community. This was 15 years ago. And we're still dealing with way more of it than we should. So I asked Dr. Cody this question. Hey, man, what's going on? What's causing kids to get sick? And he, I'll never forget this. He said, well, Tony, if you really want to know that answer, then thank goodness you're a chiropractor. Because for us, DC doesn't stand for doctor of chiropractic. DC stands for doctor of cause. That's your job. And I'll show you how to do it. The first step in your job is when you're taking a case history, you don't take the case history in the standard step-by-step, you know, mechanical way that medical school and chiropractic school teaches you to do, fill out the paperwork for the sake of filling out paperwork. But you actually do this. Dr. Cody told me, and this is where we found the perfect storm. This is the entire foundation of this Experience Miracles podcast and everything we do. He said, if you want to find exactly what caused and is causing a child to be so sick, you need to shut up and listen to their mom. <laughs> now, every time I tell this story, I've got to sneak in a little dad to dad joke here. Um, Us dads, we gather different kinds of information. We are like, ah, they were born in the summer. I remember it was hot. Their middle name is, and I'm having fun. We don't fill out the paperwork when we take our kids to the doctor. We may drive, okay, um, not using GPS, but we will get them there. We just don't have all the details because we don't ask all the questions. That's just not how God made us. But thankfully, awesomely, God made you moms to ask these questions to keep track of that information. Whether you put it in your iPhone notes or you just put it in your heart and your soul and your mom, God, you know the answers to why your child is sick and how they got sick. Now, right now, maybe you couldn't load up your notes app and write down each step of the perfect storm that I'm about to go through, but it's in there. The reason you maybe can't say it out loud or write it onto a piece of paper is because it's been buried down deep by doctors who don't listen, by a system that doesn't listen, by a system that doesn't honor that mom intuition and that mom and dad gut or what we would call in chiropractic that innate instinct. But you were there on the journey to get pregnant. You were there during the pregnancy. You were there at labor and delivery. You were there when the baby was trying to latch and nurse and grow and develop. You've been there, literally, physically, emotionally, every single way you can be there. You've been there with your child. So you have the answers, mom and dad. And that's the difference with the Experience Miracles podcast and all the work we do with PX Talks. We are going to steamroll you. We are going to minimize you. We are going to do the absolute opposite. We are going to shut up, lean in, knee to knee, and listen to you. You have the answers and the information we need to find the plan to get your child to where you want them, which is healthy, thriving, out of this chronic sickness, illness, and into their optimal potential. So that's what I started to do. So I took Dr. Cody's training because he was the best mentor, best guide ever. Miss him like none other. He'd be my first um, interview on this podcast if he still was with us. We lost him uh, many years ago and far too soon. But every lesson he taught me has stuck with me. And now I get to share it with you and share it with the thousands of docs in the PX Docs network. And so that's what every PX Docs PX Doc is trained to do first, is to actually take a case history to go all the way back in time. So when I got into practice, um, being the servant heart, I guess that that I am, just a farmer, helper, like, 
hey, if I don't have the answers, I'll go find them. Hey, if there's people to help, I'll show up. Just ask them if I can help them. That's literally how I built this practice in the perfect storm. I started my practice here in Crystal Lake in 07, 08. And I just went out and I volunteered at what's called Options and Advocacy, which is the board, um, the nonprofit that takes care of our early intervention and special needs population here in the community. I went and volunteered at the mental health board where kids and families and folks were struggling with ADHD and mental and emotional challenges. And I went to them and I asked if I could help. By asking if I could help, they started to ask the question, sure, but how? You're a chiropractor, man. This is back pain, neck pain. You know, we're dealing with ADHD. This is neurological. This is autism. This is brain based. This is, you know, so on and so forth. Well, during this entire journey, I didn't stop studying. I didn't stop researching. And so I started to put these links together to the perfect storm sequence. I started to find research that showed, hey, there's a strong correlation between fertility challenges and autism and chronic neurological challenges in kids later on in life. Hey, there's a strong research link between what's called maternal distress, so a high stress, high risk, high anxiety pregnancy, and challenges with kids later on in life with anxiety and neurologically you know, based challenges. There's a strong link between labor, birth interventions like C-section, forceps, induction, cord wrap, breech presentation, and all of these challenges later on in life. So my job every single day during my formative years onto this road to become a pediatric chiropractor and the perfect storm, kind of the, the, the leading expert here in the world, it was two parallel paths. I would be literally, because I, when I say I'm a nerd, y'all, let's just, let's just get it out there on this early episode. I'm a nerd. I was in the library all the time after I graduated. I was on PubMed all the time after I graduated. I went back through and read my anatomy, physiology, and neurology textbooks two to three times over once again after I graduated. I just said all this out loud, didn't I? I fully, I see I'm bumping the microphone. I'm like, oh, they, oh, they knew. It's official. Nerdy as can be. Um, and so I'm studying and studying and studying, and then I'm serving and I'm serving and I'm serving. And so the way this came to be, which is going to get us to the perfect storm sequence in science, is I got a chance. I got a chance to start to serve and care for chiropractically. I don't think that's a real word, but it just made its way into the podcast, so it is now. I started to serve these kids who were 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 young adults who were on four, six, eight medications ADHD, autism, Asperger's, epilepsy. I started to serve um, through the Epilepsy Foundation. It was an amazing woman by the name of Nancy Monica, who will be one of our early, early, early interviews on this podcast, the angel and life changer for our family, as you will soon learn with Oliver's story, um, which happened three years. So I'm, I'm before Oliver. Addison was our oldest. Oliver would come two years later and galvanize and clarify this whole journey I'm on with you on The Perfect Storm. And I started to get some of these patients in. And I'll just be honest with you. These families were coming into PwC in our clinic and trying chiropractic as a last resort, as a last hope. That's maybe where we found you. Maybe your child is 17, 19, okay? Then my whole first three years of practice were not with brand new babies and two-year-olds and three-year-olds recently diagnosed who we, you know, could get to work earlier and see, you know... Here's the deal. We started seeing the toughest patients possible. They had been stuck in what you're about to learn is called the sympathetic fight or flight perfect storm. They had been stuck in the storm for almost two decades or over two decades. They not only had their neurophysiology that haywire, that dysfunctional, that stressed out for that long, but they were on medications. Big, nasty, gnarly, side effect riddled medications. They had literally exhausted medicine. They had exhausted detoxes, chelation, supplementation. This is a little bit early before that stuff was there, but in my area, it kind of showed up early. We're in Chicago. Um, the Autism One Conference was here every year. I keynoted that. So a lot of these families would go biomedical, unfunctional. Then they had exhausted all of that too, but they hadn't tried chiropractic yet. They hadn't gotten chiropractic yet. And so when I went through these case histories for these 19-year-olds, for these 17-year-olds, I did what Dr. Cody taught me to do. 
I went all the way back to fertility, pregnancy, labor, and delivery. I was looking for the triggers. I was looking for the signs. I was looking for these perfect storm elements that I had started to put together in my research. I was looking for them in these kids' case histories. That's the whole context of this episode right here. And you know what? I found them again and again and again. We found these instances. In about 20 to 40% of the cases, we found that there was IVF, um, tons of fertility challenges, tons of stress, tons of medication, tons of interventions, awesomely to get to the place where pregnancy and a baby could happen. In about 60% of the cases, 50 to 60% of these early cases, and we continue to see these numbers be there or higher here today, but in 50 to 60% of the cases, we found that the pregnancy was crazy stressful for mom. There was a job loss. There was a loved one loss. There was some sort of medical diagnosis or finding that ended up with tons of ultrasounds and needing to see a high-risk OB and all of this stress on mom's nervous system, which we now know through neurology and science and research, and we'll teach a little bit on this episode and a lot of it on other episodes, that umbilical cord that connects that beautiful mom, that rock star mom to that beautiful developing baby, that umbilical cord doesn't just bring nutrients and oxygen and blood flow. It brings nerve supply. It's the electrical power cord between mom's nervous system and baby's nervous system. And in today's world, we have stressed the heck out of our beautiful rock star moms They are filled with anxiety. They are filled with constant tension and exhaustion. And so when they're constantly stressed and they're constantly exhausted and they're constantly in the perfect storm, that sets the stage for the baby's neurology, which is the first thing to develop in utero is the spinal cord and the brainstem. So the autonomic and central nervous system, it's already hardwired for stress in a lot of these cases of autism, ADHD, anxiety, and chronic illness in kids. And then the big one, the real what we call moonwalking bear, which is a fun little YouTube video we showed during the webinar or the live workshop called The Perfect Storm, is there's 80 to 90% of the time, there is a significant physically injury. There's this physical birth trauma, forceps, vacuum, emergency C-section, scheduled C-section, induction, and what happens, I know you're listening to this on a podcast, so you can't, if, you know, if you're catching this on YouTube, you can see me you know, pretending to yank, twist, and pull on my head and neck. But I can't say it any other way, even 15 years later and thousands, tens of thousands of times of teaching this to parents in some form or fashion, we are literally grabbing a hold of our precious brand newborn babies during their birth process when they cannot control their head and neck and muscles on their own because they've never been out here earth side with gravity. And we are yanking, twisting, and pulling on the most delicate tissues of their upper neck, cranium, and brainstem, which is where the entire autonomic nervous system, which controls digestion, which controls sleep, which controls the immune system, which controls the respiratory system, which controls motor tone and coordination and development, which controls speech, behavior and emotional regulation through the vagus nerve and the autonomic nervous system. So there's a fast dose of the neurology of the perfect storm. All of that air traffic control for the entire central and autonomic nervous system is in the brainstem. It's in the upper cervical spine. Autism isn't in the brain. It's in the brain system. ADHD isn't in the brain. It's in the brainstem. Anxiety isn't in the brain. It's in the brainstem. And we are physically injuring it at birth and expecting good outcomes. Now, when I say we, I don't mean you and me as parents. This is an information you're supposed to know. How do doctors think it's okay to grab a hold of a child by a gigantic pliers, a gigantic plunger, a gigantic set of hands, yank twist to pull them into the world and say, ah, don't worry, they'll grow out of it. Because that's the completion of the perfect storm for this episode. Those are the babies with stressful pregnancies and forceps and vacuum and emergency C-sections who can't soothe and sleep, who can't latch and nurse and digest. So they're colicky, they're refluxy, they're constipated, they have chronic ear infections, they have eczema and skin challenges. And with that, they already have stress inside their system, neurophysiological system in spades, way more stress, way more dysfunction than we want. If they're having these early symptoms of colic and constipation and ear infections and eczema and and, and developmental and motor milestones delays, and then we throw antibiotics and then we throw steroid-based medications and then we throw toxins and then we throw all sorts of these things into their system, And we expect them to develop healthy and strong and resilient and on time, and they don't. 
And not only do the doctors not teach us any of this stuff about the perfect storm instigators and triggers with fertility, pregnancy, and birth intervention, which we now call birth trauma, but then they don't help us get out of it because what they say to us as parents is, ah, don't worry, they'll grow out of it. Some kids are just fussy and colicky and constipated. And some kids are just, you know, let them cry it out. Here's some Miralax. Here's some Nexium and Prevacid. Here's a whole bunch of medications that have never been actually tested and approved to be on kids, but we only have a hammer, so everything looks like a nail. So we will dismiss it and medicate it. And then your child will be three years old and have struggled all the way through every bit of their neurological, physiological, gastroenterological development, and they will be chronically sick, chronically stressed, and have sensory processing, ADHD, autism, developmental delays, speech issues, behavior, emotional, on and on. So the perfect storm may not get diagnosed officially until your child is two or three, but it began long before that. Many times it began at the very beginning components of neurological development in utero. So what we're here to tell you with the Experience Miracles podcast and all the work we do with the perfect storm and our focus on birth trauma, maternal distress, distress, and reversing this outcome and, and restoring your child's health through natural, drug-free, neurologically focused means if they went through this storm and hopefully we're reaching millions of you at the same time ahead of this storm so you can be aware of this stuff and not scared of it, not fear-based and don't take any blame, but don't take it. Take action. That's the last thing, the toughest thing I need to finish this podcast episode with is to get this across in the right context to you. So parent to parent, tell you this, you're going to get into an episode here very soon where you're going to learn about even though... I spent two to three years studying the direct effects of birth trauma on children and how it leads to seizures and epilepsy and autism and the worst of the worst neurological conditions. It doesn't mean that we can always prevent the storm even when we're aware of the storm. Our next child, Oliver, would be born with a very physically traumatic birth, life flighted from one hospital to another in a helicopter. Oliver would be a medical miracle where multiple surgeries and medications would save his life, but then he wasn't supposed to live until age one. He had a 20% chance of living till age one, and they said a 99% chance of cerebral palsy, autism, and epilepsy if he made it past that mark. And Oliver, last night, ahead of recording this podcast episode, won a cross-country race as a 14-year-old dude who is more neurologically and cardiovascularly, that's another made-up word. I think I'm setting a record for a podcast here on how many made-up words you can do. And he won a cross-country meet because of the power of neurologically focused chiropractic because God gave us that too. See, medicine is amazing at putting out fires. Medicine is amazing at crisis and emergency intervention, and they are absolute awful at health restoration, prevention, and building resilience and health in our kids at all. And they might even be worse than that at trying to restore, repair, and reverse chronic challenges in kids um, than they are even you know, creating it and trying to lead to good health in the first place. So I want you to go with this as we finish up this podcast, moms and dads, if this first run through the perfect storm is the first time somebody has gone backwards with you and really shine the light on a few of the things that could vary directly. We know the science, we know the physiology, and there's tons of research on this now too. You can go to our website, pxdocs.com, and check out the perfect storm and birth trauma articles, the C-section articles. You can see all the research with maternal distress and birth trauma and intervention and, and injuring the cerebellum and the vagus nerve and creating subluxation and dysautonomia. Tons of terms you're going to learn on future podcast episodes. But I share this with you and one of these, this, I don't know if this is the first episode or one of the very early episodes here on the podcast run. This is the least favorite part of my job going backwards. It invokes a lot of emotion. I hope that the emotion that wins is the one of action and forward looking that says, hey, now that I know this, we can't, I always lighten the mood here by older, we can't hire Marty McFly and Doc and get in the DeLorean, might have to be old enough for that movie reference, we can't go back in time and prevent any of this. We weren't able to do that for Oliver. You'll hear his story um, here on an episode, if not the very next one. But what we can do now that we know it is do something about it. 
I do not. I'm not the person that believes that whole quote, knowledge is power is true. I think the implementation and the ability to take action upon knowledge is where power, impact, and results for our family comes from. So I needed to take you backwards into these core elements of the perfect storm being fertility and pregnancy stress, birth intervention and trauma, colic, constipation, recurrent ear infections, antibiotic after antibiotic, and tell you the truth, the kids don't grow out of colic. They grow into sensory autism and ADHD and anxiety so that you know what caused it so that you can take the right action to get your child to restore, reorganize, repair, and heal. See, the coolest thing about the nervous system and the very last thing on this episode, remember, long story short, is this, our children are designed to heal. The earlier we get started with these healing endeavors, we will be teaching and talking and exploring about every single episode of the Experience Miracles podcast. We know with Neurologically Focused Chiropractic exactly how to tap into the nervous system, how to stimulate the healing, rest, recovery, digestion, anti-inflammation side of neurology. We know how to get your child's sleep better. We know how to get their digestion and their immune system better. We know how to get their motor tone and coordination better. We know how to get every single part of their neurophysiological function working better. And the brain works for the body. So you'll continue to learn about exactly how neurologically focused chiropractic adjustments work and how they are the, I don't even like to call it the missing link for so many families. Those first 17, 18, 19 year olds, they felt like it was the missing link. And it is, it's the whole dang foundation that health and healing is built upon. It's not a missing puzzle piece. It's the whole frame and the whole table that holds up the whole puzzle. God designed us that the nervous system is the boss. It's the mom of the body. It knows everything. It controls everything. It coordinates everything. So if your child is struggling with seemingly everything, gut stuff, immune stuff, behavior stuff, emotion stuff, seizure stuff, well, what you want to do is not continue the medical approach of chasing individual symptoms with individual specialists. You probably have seven doctors who don't have any answers. And then same with supplements and natural health. A lot of times it's, hey, this supplement's for that and this therapy's for that and this thing is for that. And so it's natural and it's drug-free, but it still doesn't address the root cause head on. Neurologically focused chiropractic because we can more potently and effectively access and improve the function of the central and autonomic nervous system. That is the one thing you're going to want to learn more about and get after as quick as possible. If you're a nerd like me and you love to learn, this podcast is for you. And if you're a parent like me and you love to see your children be healthy and thrive, then this podcast is for you. And the last request is please go to whichever podcast platform you are listening to this thing on, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, wherever, and please subscribe. Please don't miss a single episode. We're going to start cranking these things so that we can bring hope, answers, and help to the entire world in a drug-free neurological way. And please share the heck out of this podcast. This is the one thing that I know unequivocally, absolutely will transform families' lives like nothing else out there. The thing we're going to teach you about is more potent than a probiotic and way more potent than anything else out there. So please subscribe, please share, and we'll see you on the very next episode.